What's up, everyone? How's it going? How's it going? Can everyone hear me? Can everyone see me? Is everything cool? Hi, hi, hi. How's it going? How's it going? <clears throat> Give me one sec, one sec. I'm doing really well, guys. Um, I'm actually asking you guys a question today, and I'm already kind of starting something. So um, I have an idea, and it's kind of an announcement. So I'm waiting just a little longer. But... Um, I'm sorry guys, this is the only time I have to do this live. I'm in my apartment right now. Just hanging out. Oh, um, yes, Kat, this is an announcement. So, as most of you guys know, I like to read a lot. And reading has been something that I've felt has grounded me as a person. It's opened my eyes to new ideas and new sights. And, um... I don't know, I'm just very excited about reading and I've always really enjoyed it and I think you guys, you guys like reading as well. Kat knows what's coming, so that's, thank you Kat, I'm glad you're watching. Um, it's never too late for coffee. Are you crazy? So, uh, essentially, I am starting a book club. How do you guys feel about that? Is it a good idea? Yeah, Kat's here. <laughs> I haven't, I haven't listened to Taste Way's new song. I'm going to do it later. But seriously, should I start a book club? I'm thinking of starting a book club. And, um, well, not thinking. I kind of already did. And I have the first book picked out, and I have a whole list of how it's going to work. Um, essentially, I've picked 12 books, two of which I've read, 10 of which I haven't. And um, they're all books that you probably should read either in high school or college. They're books that have lasted a long period of time, meaning that they, they've made it through like decades of being important and being um, being interesting and books that are continually taught in high school. So I don't know. I'm very excited about this book club. Um, I'm gonna post a picture on my Instagram tagging. It's gonna start. It's gonna be an Instagram book club. So what it's gonna be like is on the first of every month. So our first book will start September first. We will start a book together. Then, like once a week, I'll tweet about a live that we're gonna have, and I'll tell you how far you should have read. And then we'll just like live about that point in the book, how far, how far we've gotten. Um, and we'll do that until we finish. And at the end of the month, we'll talk about the book. We'll talk about what we liked about it. We'll talk about different, um, like I don't know, different. I don't know, we'll talk about the book. We'll talk about the characters, we'll talk about the way it's written, we'll talk about the author, we'll talk about the historical context of the book. We'll talk about why it was important when it was written, and we'll talk about why it's still important today and what we can learn from it. So, does everyone like that idea? Do you guys want to join me in my reading this year in my book club? Which book? That's a very good question. So, many of you guys have asked me what my favorite book is, and I've answered many times. So I figured we would start our first book with my favorite book, which is a book that a lot of people will read in high school, maybe early college. It's an author that I think everyone should read, um, an American author, and I, I personally love his style. I like the way he writes, and I like how he talks about really important things in very weird ways. So, the first book is gonna be Slaughterhouse-Five by Kurt Vonnegut. We will start this book together on September 1st. Is that cool? You do not have to be a native speaker to participate. Anyone can participate. You can read the book in whatever language you want. And um, I hope you can just try to contribute in the, uh, in the lives we have. And if not, you will love these books. I promise, they're books that have a lot of uh, significance. Uh, I'm giving you guys five days, six days to buy this book. That's why I'm telling you now. I'll always do that. I'll give you guys a week in advance. And I'll be like, guys, the next book we're going to read is... I already have the list, so you don't need to... Uh... 
No need to worry about sending me books. Um, we, I don't want to read Shadowhunters because I've already read it. A lot of you have already read it. And this is about expanding our horizons with the books we've read. This is about challenging ourselves to read different things, to read different writers, and to... How could I be drunk? It's like... It's like noon. It's like almost one. It's, it's not early enough. It's not late enough. Ooh. Um, so... How does everyone feel about this? I've started an Instagram um, for my book. It's for my book club. It's called Rosende Reads. I believe you could probably find this book online in some sort of PDF. You can get it on Amazon. It's, I know it's on Kindle. I know you can get it anywhere. This book is very easy to get because it's very famous and it's considered Kurt Vonnegut's greatest work. It was, um, it was released, I believe, in 1969 when the country was at a time of great turmoil. Uh, three leaders had been assassinated in that decade. In 1969 alone, a couple of leaders had been assassinated. I believe uh, Martin Luther King and Robert F. Kennedy. So it was a lot of civil unrest. Also, we had the Vietnam War. And this book, as you'll see in the first chapter, is the anti-war book. Oh, Juliana! Thank you. I'm so glad. Tell all your friends. It's going to be a fun thing. Um, Archie's Seashore. That's just rude. Don't do that on my life, please. So, um, it's gonna be really cool, and I'm very excited. Uh, this book is phenomenal, he's my favorite writer, and I hope you guys start to see that. There are a couple of characters that you'll see in this book that if you continue to read, Kurt Vonnegut, you'll see in a few other books, uh, Elliot Rosewater, Kilgore Trout, people like that. Um, no, see, that's the thing, Ramona Michelle 14. This book is only 200 pages long. That might sound like a lot, but it's actually really short. And because you have 30 days to do it, we're going to have like a pace. So let's do this real quick. Watch. There are 215 pages and we want to read it in like 30 days. That's about four weeks. So that puts it about like 53 pages a week. That's not a lot. 53 pages a week is less than 10 pages a day. That's not a lot. That's 15 minutes. So if you see it that way, you're like, oh, shit. all I have to do is read 10 pages a day. And that's not that bad, and that'll get you in the habit of reading. Um, no, I do not get bored speaking about this book. Great books open up the new world. Um, what's that really famous quote? It's like, I have seen, it was, it was uh, what's his name? The guy who wrote Game of Thrones. He's like, I've seen many lands and lived many lives, all because I read books. And that's exactly what books are. The name of the book is Slaughterhouse Five. Don't worry, guys. I'm going to post on my Instagram, and I'm going to tag the Instagram account from which I will be doing all of the lives, from which I will be keeping you posted about our book readings, and where I'll be posting about what else I'm reading. I read a lot, so um, I'm actually reading three things at all times. So right now, I'll be reading this book. Um, where are the other books over here? Oh, Sorry guys. So, I read three things at all times. I read the like casual book that I want to read. I'm always reading a play. And then I'm always reading a book about acting and about um, something to better my craft. Uh, something artistic to kind of dive in and make sure I'm asking the right questions, continuing to move forward in the right way, and continuing to learn. So, thank you. So, um, I do like my kitchen. So I'm always reading three things at a time. So I'll always I'll be posting about all three. I'll be saying, hey guys, so you know, I'm on page 75 of this book, and I just finished this book, and I'm going to continue reading this book, so you guys all know. And then I'll be switching the two other books I'm reading. But per month, I'll be reading one book with everyone. Um, so you guys could choose to join me on my other. Uh, my favorite playwrights are um, Eric Bogosian, Neil Simon. And, uh, hmm, I don't know, but Eric Bogosian I really like. Eric Bogosian's amazing. Um, yo, Tim, man, how you been? I hope all's well. You should join my book club. So, uh, I'm going to post about it soon. 
Thank you guys for joining me today. We'll talk about it a little more. Any questions you have, I'm here to answer about the book club. Um, I'm giving us all a month. That's actually a long time. Um, it's a long time to read a 200 page book. Phil, you know who my favorite writer is? Kurt Vonnegut. Come on. This book is my favorite book. Yo, Liam, are you joining my book club? I'm only reading good books, I promise. They're books that are awesome. And I bet you there are some books that when we finish, we'll sit down and I'll tell you guys, to be honest, I didn't like this book. This book isn't my favorite. But the most important thing is you have to read it. You have to read the whole thing. There are some books that I, uh... There are some books that I've started that you finish, that you're like kind of like, oh, this book is kind of weird. And then you finish it and it's like, whoa, that book blew my mind. Um, you can get it anywhere. You can get it on Amazon. You can get it. You could probably find a PDF online. I've said that. Um, just Google it. You, you'll definitely pop it up. How do I join? Great question, Liam. I have an Instagram account. It's called Rosende Reads. It's called Rosende Reads. Follow the Instagram account, and I will be posting about our book club. I'm going to post today this awesome photo I took of Stella. Um, milk and honey. Oh my gosh. Beautiful poems. Crazy. Um, I haven't finished it, but uh, they're heavy. Will we discuss about the book later? Great question, Sophia. We will. We will be discussing the book. Um, once a week, I will, go on in, I will go on an Instagram Live on my book club account, and we will talk about it. So I'm going to post right now from my Instagram the book and everything we're going to be doing, and I'm going to tag Rosende Reads, my book club account, where everything will be there. All right? Um, everything will be on that account. Um, yeah, I've read all the Shadowhunters books. Actually, one of my friends is borrowing the first one right now. Exactly. It's going to be really cool. Um, so you guys know, why am I starting this book club? One, I need to read more. I feel like I don't read enough. Uh, any words for aspiring actors? Read. Read and then go act. Do it as much as you can, as many times as you can. Meet as many people as you can acting. Learn how they do it. Learn what makes them better, and then figure out for yourself what makes you better. That's advice I'd give for actors. Yankee fan from Miami. My dad's from Queens, so... Shut up, John Moltz. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I want to read more, and I feel that I haven't read enough, and there are a lot of great books that are constantly referred to, or are made... Uh, there are a lot of pop culture references to these books that if you don't understand, then you're kind of missing out a lot of context. So that's one reason why I want to do this. Two, I want to make sure that I'm, in some way, hopefully inspiring people to read more. I feel like reading is such a great thing, and you learn so much. And it, it, helps, for, it helps for communication. It helps uh, you become a better reader. You become a better speaker. You, 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 you start to be able to use words more and grammar. For anyone learning English, reading in English would be a great thing. That's how I practice Spanish. I read in Spanish. Maybe we'll do a book in Spanish, and people can read it in English, too. I don't know. We'll learn. <laughs> Juliana, I thought about doing Harry Potter, but I want to stick away from series that will take seven months to read. Because if we do it with a book club, I have to give everyone a month to read each book. And uh, that's a long one. Yes, Deflect Runes. Thank you. If I could, Can I pin that? I can't pin it. I don't know how to do that. Ha! Huh. Pin comment. So you guys know, that's the name of the Instagram. Rosende Reads. Thank you, Deflect Runes, for pinning that. That's pretty sweet. Um, so, any questions? What kind of books am I reading mostly? That's a very good question. Lately, it's been all over the place. And when I was away over break, I didn't read it all. And that's another reason why I'm making this, because I literally shied away from books. I experienced a lot, but now it's time that I'm back at work to get back into my zone and what I like to do. Um, a lot of the books I started, I fell in love with reading by reading military biographies, believe it or not. Um, uh, biographies that accounted certain events like The Lone Survivor by Marcus Luttrell or uh, One Bullet Away or uh, The Heart and the Fist by Eric Greitens, who's currently the uh, Missouri, uh, the governor of Missouri. Uh, 1984 is actually on the list of this book club. The list is already made. Um, so yeah, that's one of the books on the list. I'm excited to get there. Sorry, I, I do talk quite quickly. Um, any other questions that are in the, uh, the book club? 
The book we will be reading, Slaughterhouse Five by Kurt Vonnegut. It's the first book we're reading on the list of books that I have that I will release once a week, uh, once a month. Um, Kiara Cass, I've, saw, I've seen the, the mini series with James Franco and I thought it was spectacular. So that book is on my personal list, not on this list. But yeah, I want to read that. Um, yes, of course, I'm a huge Yankee fan. You guys are all being so nice. I'm so excited. Uh, is everyone excited about this? About this book club? Is, is this a good idea? Do people want to join? Is it something you guys want to do? Um, yeah, right now. No, I will not release all the books right away. I don't want you guys reading ahead. <laughs> We're all going to read together. Um, yes, I, that quote is from John Green. The quote that's on the book. On the lives, are you planning on doing them by yourself? Or are there any... Uh, I don't know. If anyone's in town and wants to be here when we do the live, that'd be great. Uh, Kat might, I don't know if Kat's gonna, Kat will probably join in on a couple if she's in town. I mean, if she's like available. Um, but yeah, I, on the lives, we'll be discussing the book. I'll be like, hey guys, so the first week we read up to chapter five. So let's talk about the first five chapters. How do we feel about Kilgore? How do we feel about uh, Billy Pilgrim? How do we feel about everything that's going on? What do you think, like, well, how do you feel about the book? What do you like? Do you see Kurt Vonnegut's use of irony? Do you see his use of satire? Do you see all of the themes he's trying to also talk about? And in the context of the time in which the book was written, why do you think that was important? We're going to kind of do a little bit of American history here. I want you guys to know what was happening in 1969. I want you guys to know what was going on um, and why this book kind of picked up a cult following and why it was so important and what are the themes in it that kind of really grew. Um, I will be leading the club. Um, Thank you, Anna. I think it's going to be very good. Please, please read a blurb for us. All right, I'm going to read the first chapter. The first... I'm going to read the first paragraph of the second chapter. Because that's important. The first chapter is interesting. It's the writer talking to the, to the reader. Really interesting. And the second chapter from the book starts. So, the first chapter says, Listen, Billy Pilgrim has come unstuck in time. Billy has gone to sleep, a senile widower, and awakened on his wedding day. He has walked through a door in 1955 and come out another one in 1941. He's gone back through that door to find himself in 1963. He has seen his birth and his death many times, he says, and pays random visits to all the events in between, he says. So, that's the first chapter, that's the first paragraph of the first book. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go now because I've, I've got a lot of things to do today. I will be posting on Instagram the photo, awesome photo I took of Stella by the way, so you guys really like it, photo with this book and um, I'll post it on Rosende Reads as well. I hope you guys really enjoy this journey of reading we're going to go through. Uh, we have some really good books coming up ahead. Um, if you want to improve your English, I recommend trying to read the books in English out loud. That's what I do with Spanish. Uh, I'll read books out loud. Why? Because it helps you learn the grammar. It helps you learn how, the, how sentence structure should feel. Um, you also learn a lot of new words. It expands your vocabulary in a great way. That's another reason why you guys should continue to read. It really expands your vocabulary. It helps your grammar. It helps speaking. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. I hope uh, everyone that wants to join in does. Um, and I hope you enjoy the books we, I picked for you. And if you don't, that's why one of the beautiful things about books, there are so many books and so little time. So you'll always find a book that you like. There's always, there's always that book out there. Um, someone asked earlier, when did I start to love reading? And that was in high school when I started to read for myself. I had this amazing teacher. Uh, Mrs. Krugman, and she really spoke about books in a very interesting way. She allowed us to get into the text and kind of start making our own 
ideas and we'd have these amazing discussions in class that she would lead that were like whoa books are really cool and I'm learning so much about this person I mean um, I read Toni Morrison with her we read Beloved and that book was amazing her use of imagery and the way she uses the language is just fantastic um, so I'm gonna head out I've got things to do I'm gonna post on my Instagram talking about a little bit about the book club and in that I'll be tagging my book club so you guys can all join. And remember, we're starting the book on September 1st. September 1st, I will have an Instagram Live from my book club account to say, yo, starting a book club. Uh, so uh, I hope you guys enjoy this year. Um, I will Remember I said on the book club account, I will also be posting all of the other things I'm reading at the same time. So that if you guys wanted to read the plays that I'm reading or read the acting books that I'm reading, they'll be there as well. So, you have six days to get the book. I hope you guys join. I really hope you guys get the book, and I hope you guys love it just as much as I have. Um, until next time, guys. I always forget how to do this, so then I end up standing like this for so long, and it's annoying. But I will see you guys soon. Follow Rosende Reads. It's pinned at the bottom. And, um, yeah, get those books. I can't wait. Peace.